In this video, I will teach you how I create multiple x slice layout that allocate our different yearly RGB display formats. Plus, a few tips on how to organize your show folder a little bit more efficiently. Hello and welcome back. My name is Jorge and here I am amplifying your learning with video. If you are anything like me and you have different props for each of your yearly station RGB display and use the same controller for all of those probes, then this is the video for you as we will be discussing how to create a second or third layout in x -Lite show directory and how to permanently select it as your seasonal show directory. Let's start by locating your show folder. Mine has been purposely located on the C or the root x -Lite folder. This is the PC I'm working on, C or the root, and the x -Lite folder it has. It had the Christmas folder that contains all my Christmas sequencing data. Also had the Halloween folder that also contained all the Halloween sequencing data. Had the plugin folder. This is all the plugins that you use with x -Lite. Mine are located in there. The fourth folder here is the sequences folder. That is here just for video tutorial purposes. As you may have all your sequences on, on this same folder, and this is maybe the folder that you will be copying the data from. And this remember me, tip number one. X-Lite, as many other programs, and will search for each data on the folder the same has been created. Since x -Lite at times get upset, with long file paths and long file names. I do minimize folder and subfolder organization, minimizing its file path length. Tip, keep it simple and organize it. The guys at the Zoom room will be thankful. Let's take a look at what is inside of the Halloween folder. The first one is backup folder. Have all the X lights out of backup information. The second folder is a color curve. Have the color curve data, usually empty unless you manually save data from the sequencer. Faces folder, have the faces files used on the props for sequencing. Music, have the music file used on the sequence. Palette, have the palette data, empty unless you manually save the data from the sequencer. Sequences have all the Halloween x slice sequences I have created. Value curve have all the value curve data is empty unless you manually save the data from the sequencer. X schedule data have all the X schedule data empty unless you use X schedule to run your show. Import folder have all the imported sequence data purchase it or share point downloaded. I have to say, this is the folder where I save all the sequence that I purchase, all the sequence that I download from the x -Lite share drive. I place it on this folder. From here, I start all my importing process to my layout. I really suggest, strongly suggest that you create this folder is very helpful. From there, we have the home.gpeg, which is the layout picture or the background picture. And this helps to locate the props on your layout. X like key bindings, dot XML. This is your shortcuts information. X like networks, dot XML. Your controller settings. X Lite RGB effects. This is your layout and model information. These last four files are the most important ones. I simplify this in a small spreadsheet. Let's go take a look. As you can see here, we have three columns. The far most left is the fighter folder name extension. The middle one is the action we're going to be taking. And the most right is the why we be taking this action. So this being divided by the folders and files that we have 
inside the Halloween folder. So let's go start with the ones that we don't want anything to do with it. That's what they are in red. You don't need anything to do with it. You, we're not going to be copying this. Backup, curly curve, palettes, value curve, XS schedule data, and X lights, RGB effects, dot RBKP. You don't want those files, so don't even think about them anymore. Then we're going to move in through the yellow ones, manually added. Remember, this is the folder that I personally add to this folder for organization. This is optional, but it's highly suggested. Faces, music, import, and sequences. Then we're going to move into the green action. This is going to be the file that we must copy. So those files are going to be home.gpeg. Why? It contains layout needed data. Xlights keybinding dots XML contain all layout data. Xlights RGB effects. Now we're going to move on into the green action. There's folders on the home.gpeg, xlite key binding docs xml, xlite networks docs xml, and xlite rgb effects xml. All contain layout needed data. You want to copy all that data into the new folder. Now that we have better understanding of what some of these xlite files are for and what they do, we can easily decide which files the new show folder must contain. So let's go return to the xlite folder. And here we're going to create a new folder. That folder is going to be. Now that. Now that we are back in the xlite folder, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to be doing that, doing right click, hit new folder and we're going to name that folder what it made most sense to you mine going to be tutorial layout you can call it the best way you you like to i just suggest that it makes sense so now we have a blank folder we open this folder it's blank we're going to go back here to X lights. Now, so on, we're going to go to the Halloween folder. So remember, using the information we just see on the spreadsheet, we're going to be copying the data that we'll be looking for. Let's go start for the important file, the green actions. I'm going to grab all of these, right click, copy, I'm going to move back to the new folder. Right click face or control V. Now remember we don't want this folder, so we're gonna delete it. Now we end up with the four green action folders. Okay. Then let's go create the optional folders. A new create folders. Create this one gonna be named faces. Create a new one. It's gonna be call it music. Another one. We're gonna create it sequences. And the fourth one gonna be import. This is gonna be held in all the imported data or sequences that we're going to be using in the show directory so now we have all the folders we need to take a screenshot take a picture with your phone this is what you need these folders have to be empty nothing can be in there remember you're going to be adding this new data as you progress in your layout development now that we have the folder already configured we're going to open up x lights
before I open X slides. Again, keep in mind that this folder will not have any data on them as you will be creating that data as you adjust your new layout prop controller pops and channels. Open up X lights at the moment of we recording this video. It's a new update. I will not I, I do not want to update at this time, so I'm gonna skip it for this time. You can ignore this version or download the new release, it's up to you. For now, I will just skip it this time. So right away, we're gonna be looking at the show directory. Our show directory, CX Lights Halloween. Okay, if we go back to our folder, we look here, CX Lights Halloween. Okay, simple, clear. Second thing we're going to be looking for, and more important, is that you have your controller information here. If you have all your controller information, this information is correct. The window looks familiar, we can move so on. So, let's go move and select a change permanently. We're going to permanently change the show directory. So, we're going to click here, and that's going to bring us into the current show directory file path. This is show directory C X Lite Halloween, as you see here. C X Lite Halloween. So now we're gonna select the new folder. So we go back to the X Lite folder and we're gonna select the folder that we just create. Remember, in my case, is tutorial layout. In your case, is this name that you just give it to it okay so we're going to select it double click folder select folder and notice that the show directory already changed for c x lights tutorial layout that is your new show directory now on well Again, take a look at your controller information. If your controller information looks familiar, everything looks okay. Let's go move some on. Layout. We're gonna be looking at three important things here. All your model props have to be here. See? Your channel information, your controller port channel information had to be here. Once it's there, you see there and look familiar, you are golden, you're good to go. The second part I'm going to be looking at is your background image. Home GPEG. Remember, this is the image that is here on your preview. That's what we use for layout our props around the jar, thing, things like that. And the third one is looking at your preview is all good you can look your regular preview but you can see your 3d view simple yeah now from here and forward it's up to you imagination and your pocket where you want to stop oh remember that change move things around modify you will be changing for outputs channel all that kind of stuff on this a props location thing like that just remember that you gotta after you make all those changes you gotta save all this information how we're gonna be doing that is going here to file save layout or hit control s shortcut so that will be saving out the new layout okay so with that being said so you it's up to you now forward what you're gonna be doing with So just to recheck everything went okay, we're gonna just uh, we're gonna quit X um, we're gonna quit X lights. Already quit. Um, check the tutorial folder. So some of the folders already changed the date here. So key bindings, um, RGB effects. 
network do not change because we don't change anything with the controller i don't think it's already do a backup so you will see that things start getting populated let's go check it out be sure that we are still going to the same show directory same process you're going to open up i'm going to access the question we're going to skip it at least i'm going to skip it right away notice here see x lights tutorial layout we return to the show directory we just permanently change it and that's all my friends as always i do hope this tutorial was helpful please hit the like or unlike button it really helps with the algorithms and the channel also please let me know in the comments how this tutorial works for you or if any questions surface during the procedure. I would like to start creating an next slide for beginners community and your comments, critiques and ideas are always welcome. Just please let me know on the comments. Be safe and I will see you on the next blink.